Well, we know that glasses act like solids in a lot of ways we care about. Uh, so for example, if there's glass in a window, we know that it's not going to just flow away like water would flow away if we put it in a window. The fundamental thing we don't understand is why glasses act like solids. Do they act like solids because they're really solids, like say crystals in metals and in minerals are? Or do they act like solids simply because they're very, very slow liquids? Liquids that are so slow that they don't flow on the, on the lifetime of humans. And along with that comes some very practical things that we don't know. Uh, for example, we don't know why window glass, as you cool it, hardens very slowly, but many polymer glasses, as you, as you cool them, harden very rapidly. All of these practical things about how we actually make glasses with properties we want. Why one glass fractures easily in a very brittle way and another glass is tough. Why one glass lets all kinds of oxygen and water and other things through and another glass is highly impermeable. Uh, so these are very important questions and we really don't have systematic answers that allow us to predict the behavior of new materials.